If you cannot see the margins at this point on your digital impression, how can you expect someone else down the line, the dental technician, to know where to position the margins? So you've captured your digital impression. Now, before you send it off to the lab or to whatever service you're sending the STL scans to, you wanna make sure you analyze your digital impression, your digital models first, uh, to ensure that you have all of the critical data points that the lab will need to create a precise fitting, accurate restoration. So we have our preparation. In this case, we have a single unit crown prep on tooth number 30, the lower right first molar. You can see it here and the entire quadrant. So starting off with the entire model, with most of these type of cases, single unit posterior restorations or preparations, we want to scan from the last tooth forward to at least the canine. I recommend at least to the canine or cuspid so that you have data points, extra data points for yourself and the dental designer to create anatomy within the restoration that is true to form for that patient. Now those surfaces are certainly critical, but an area we can't ignore will be the contact surfaces over the adjacent teeth. So in this case, number 29 and 31, those contact surfaces next to the prep also have to be filled in. If those are missing, the restoration is most likely gonna to be too wide mesial distally, and that would mean a lot more adjustments on your end when you're going to try to seat it on the patient. So making sure that's filled in will be critical. Next, probably the most important aspect of the entire quadrant scan for the prep is the prep. You wanna make sure the occlusal of the prep, the axial surfaces of the prep, and the margins are all filled in so they're not missing any critical uh, data points within it. If there are any holes within that, you definitely wanna capture that and fill that in. Now for the margins, you wanna make sure that the margins are visible, they're clean, and for those equigingival or even subgingival margins, that adequate retraction was accomplished, whether you're using laser, you're using retraction cord, or they have the retraction paste, some method to move the tissue away from the preps so that the margins are visible. If you cannot see the margins at this point on your digital impression, how can you expect someone else down the line, the dental technician, to know where to position the margins. So it's gonna be very critical that those are also visible within your digital model. So analyzing the entire model, making sure that you have accurate data points over the adjacent teeth, the contact surfaces of the adjacent teeth, and the entire preparation, nothing's missing, everything is filled in correctly, and the margins are visible. That's how you can ensure that your prep model is accurate enough for a precise fitting restoration to be created on it.